So we got all the migrants in now. It's 22nd fell site, 147 late spring. They're all in, and they're drafted into the military here. They start under this green squad, named the Geared Balls. And there's a whole bunch of you. And we're just gonna, I guess I'll just let you train wrestling for now. Medor Guragash. I wanna check him, see why he doesn't have a name. Did he kill somebody? Is there a dead monster out here somewhere? I know I had a guy come in the door last. He seemed to be trailing behind everyone. But other than that, look, we already got trees sprouting up here. Cut those trees down so they don't impede our water flow. And we'll continue working on all this. Let those new migrants go train their wrestling up. They've got a long, hard road ahead of them. And they can stand down. Klingtron, it's your turn to be taken by a fey mood. You're down there in the shop. You come upstairs, and where do you go? To the other mason shop. And you kick somebody out of there. Who, do, who was working there? Lord Oblivion was working there. I don't think that's the first time you've been kicked out of a shop by someone's mood. Coming along rudely. And Klingtron, you finished your little creation here. It is Toned Lurks. The Fright of Drilling in Andestide Hatch Cover, valued at 26,400 dwarf bucks. It is crafted of the highest quality and decorated with frost imp leather and encircled with bands of andesite. Wonder where they got that from, must have drug it in from outside. This object is adorned with hanging rings of lead and cave oak and menaces with spikes of cave lobster shell and Venus mantrap silk. On the item is an image of vault dwellers and catbone, and on the item is an image of cave oaks and lead. Not a bad little hatch cover. Not sure where we'll put it. We've got a few hatch covers lined up here, so maybe we'll build it here as well. That way they're all just lined up uh, along the walls here. Still waiting on them to finish digging this out. They'll get to it. give our water gecko its first little taste of freedom. I've got somebody sent to go bring it out of the cage and attach it to a restraint at the front of the base where these cats used to be. Whoops. That's a lot of these creatures, these kittens that keep spawning out. If we can uh, spawn geckos to guard the doorways instead we won't need cats in here really at all. We can get back to slaughtering some of them. So are you going to go get the cat there, Coco Jambo? Or are you going to go get the gecko here? We'll see if he goes. He's carrying a baby, too. Looks like he is going to go grab it out of the cage. It should be trained, so hopefully it doesn't go mad. The stray gecko will be taken up front, set on a leash, and we'll see how it does. Hopefully it doesn't die. I'm not sure if it needs water to live or not. Stray water gecko. It is covered in blood, blood splatter. It's not, we're not going to slaughter it, though we could. I guess we could also start breeding them for their skin, and their meat, and their leather. That'd be interesting. Curse you kittens, you're everywhere. That one's set to slaughter, so is that one. So, meet the new gecko guard. He'll be in the front of the base. I think he's assigned to this one right here. We'll see if he gets along with our dogs, our guard dogs. Deke is outside. How are you doing, Deke? You've got minor brain damage still. You got a little bit of military training. You didn't last too long in there before you got hurt and had to be removed, though. You were just too damaged and couldn't pick up any weapons anymore. The skills just couldn't come to you. It's a tragedy. You were making such a fine warrior, too. They're bringing armor in and out. Looks like they might have been training up here, some people. Large Brock flower, ragged stuff. Copper cracked police shield, large copper broken ocular. That might have been the zombie gear that was brought in. Maybe we'll melt some of that down. Here comes our gecko friend. Being brought up to the chain. Children's coming to watch. Wants to play with the gecko. Don't do it, Dara. It'll eat you. 
We don't know if it's trustworthy or not yet. We'll leave it there, and if it's alive in a few seasons, in another season, maybe we'll trust it to run free from the chain. My biggest fear with it, though, is that we'll unchain it and it'll run all the way back to the river and get torn apart by the other geckos in there. A human caravan from Azri Shosha has arrived. That's a new town. Let's pull this lever, see if we can get a... See if we can get it. Get them in there, I guess. Pull that one. That'll seal that off. Pull that one. And that'll s hopefully drop it to the outside. We'll see if they left anybody to show up here. I guess I should start leaving this front door open from now on. That way if anybody does show up, they don't bypass. But they brought a guild representative so we can make contact with them. Coco Jambo goes to pull that lever. You're all over the place, Coco. Stray Kitten has been struck down. And our base is sealed off. Nobody can get out there, I don't believe. Pretty sure it should be fine. Nobody can come in here and go down those stairs because that's sealed off with fortifications and bridges up. Our geckos on guard duty in RAR 359. You've been elected mayor. So let's get you over to your brand new room. Everybody give a round of applause to RAR 359. And let's cheer the end of the end of Flame of Dark's reign is over with that murderous mayor. And RAR, you now get all the riches that come with being a mayor. Food, a nice room, weapon racks. It's not nearly as good as Kelderon's room. I'm not sure what he's done to deserve anything in a while. He's the Horde Master. That's right, he keeps all of our counts accurate, so he's a busy man too. And we'll see what happens here, see if we can get this guild representative in here. It's 18th Hematite, 147, early summer. And we're about to make contact with the Azri Shosha here. The Blaze of Discovery is a human empire. They've got a lot of people. Spearmaster, Swordmaster, Elite Marksman, Elite Bowman. Look at all those human priest, human priest. They got a ghoul in there as well. High priest. Very religious empire. Not sure I want to make contact with them. Could start a holy war with us. We'll see what happens. We'll do my best to get his guild representative in here. Okay, it looks like we got their diplomat in. He just ran in the front door, so I got somebody set to come pull this lever. They also got some of their traders in, so as soon as I'm sure that that bridge is down, I'll let my vault dwellers go out here. We'll get catfish trading. Carry some goods out there. Just have some raw glass, maybe some gems. Might give them some more healing powder or something. We'll see what they got. They only managed to bring two individual traders here with the muskox. Looks like they brought plenty of food. So we might be able to trade some glass cages for maybe some turtle or some lobster. And that diplomat made it inside. Whoops, I pulled the wrong lever. Pull that lever again. And this is the one to the outside. Pull that. Don't have too many idlers. I think they're all trying to attend parties and hall stones, finish the last of that. There's the human guild rep. He was coming across the bridge when I pulled that, I guess. If you're not hurt, you'll be fine. A bunch of our muskox in there are dying of old age. They've been locked up so long. So I guess real soon I should pull that too. And create a whole bunch of hauling jobs. Just want to try to finish up the last of the smoothing here. The last of the stone dumping in our central base. You notice the floor is basically done here. Unsuspend that. And look, one piece of mud. Better cover that up before a tree grows there. We use Diorite on this floor. If I ever spill water there again, I'll have to tear up the floor and then rebuild it or something. We open up there. We're closed off to the outside world and we're all open up. So let's see what goods we can send here. We've got a lot of all stuff. That's valued at 30, we can send that. That's valued at 40, we can send that. That's all already there, it looks like. 
It's all a distance of zero. So let's see, we'll go through the list over here then. Short sword, we'll sell that to another ripper. And I think that might be it. That might be all the little stuff that we're going to get rid of for now. We'll let this go through. Let them haul that out there. We'll call Catfish and get him on the way. We'll see what they have for trade whenever everything gets set up here.